let's accept, right, that at some point, about 13, 14 billion years ago, there was nothing. There was no space for the nothing to be in. There was no darkness, no light, no, no, nothing. Okay, literally nothing, except what is nearly a point in space that contained everything in the known universe, okay? Suddenly, that exploded. And in a matter of minutes, the universe was pretty much as it is now. And in all the debris, in all the dust, things started to cling together, one of which was the Earth. Can I have Carl pick up the story from there? Um, probably nothing for quite a bit. OK. Yeah. Just sort of floated about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it wasn't causing a problem because it wasn't annoying anyone. No. You see, we don't get a chance of that these days. No. You pop something down, someone says, move that. <laughs> Dangerous, what is it? Yeah. Back then, nothing. So it's hanging around. And if you leave something somewhere, something will sit on it. Right. <laughs> OK, if you leave something somewhere, something will sit on it, yeah? Yeah, something something had to sort of happen, didn't it? I'll tell you what it's like. Go on. In the same way, um, penicillin Go on. happened. Go on. It was The bread was sat there. It goes off. Mm. Air would have uh, created the greenness. <laughs> oh, God! This sounds like the Bible! <laughs> that, is, that is like the Bible! Air created the greenness! That's amazing! Carry on, carry on, because I want to... I'm, I'm, in, I'm learning here, I'm learning. And once you've got something, that yeah. leads to otherness. <laughs> this is like... This is like a monk! Cross-legged, listening to the yeah, wise old man. I know. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna write uh, a thing of how everything was created. But hang on, carry really? on. Because I'm interested. Yeah. Well, so well, where well, are we? So, so we've got. So we've got. We had greenness, and now we've got. So something. the air created the greenness, and then what is it? Then we have what was just it? otherness. Other, from otherness. The otherness. Greenness. Right. Because once other, you've got, once you've other, got, from greenness comes otherness. Once you've got one thing, others come. Yes. The air created the greenness. <laughs> then you got otherness. If you create something, others will come. <laughs> <laughs> Build it and they will but come. But it's, it's sort of right. In the, it's, yeah, no, 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 Little little patches little of greenness. Patches of greenness. Okay. A little bit of rubble knocking around. <laughs> a bit of rubble. There was a bit of rubble. Okay. Um, We've still got a long way to go. We want to get to life, don't we? Okay. So let's let's get, so, let's skip forward so, so, to life. So everything was right. Okay. It was the right distance from the sun. Okay. Yeah, but even if it, it wasn't, way, we'd, it, we'd have we would still been creating. No, we wouldn't. We have. would. Something no, we would have, have done. No, we wouldn't. Have. I want to hear Carl's opinion on this, Rick. I'm not interested in facts. I want to hear Carl's so opinion. So are you saying? Um, if if the atmosphere right around the Earth wasn't about ninety nine uh, percent nitrogen oxygen with one percent other gases, we'd have still had something else. Something would have been around. What would I'm it not have saying been? it might it might it might be better than us. It might be worse than us. What would it look like? Um, well, it's it's hard to say because they say, don't they, that it's the conditions that mould you into the shape and colour. Sure. Mm. And uh, you know everything else that makes you the person that you are. OK, let's take Pluto. We know that's the farthest away. So it's, it is dark and cold there. Right. What, how do you imagine the creatures that will develop there will Big look? eyes and airy. <laughs> <laughs> but how did they evolve? How did they evolve, though? Because we evolved... Just... Hang on. You right. always say yeah. animals change to suit the conditions. I'd have thought, if, if planet's dark, you don't need eyes, because things that live underground or at the bottom of the ocean, they don't, they don't have um, eyes or, uh, or, or colour, because there's no point. Yeah, but what I'm talking about, are we saying we're living inside Pluto or on the top of it like we do here? Why would we live inside Pluto? Well, no, I I it, it couldn't support life, full stop. But, but um, this um, is one of the most ridiculous conversations we've ever had. He's seriously considering based on, on, on a ridiculously false premise. No, Carl. We're listen. saying now right. that the world's overcrowded. Right. There's too many people on it. Right. We're running out of houses. People are living in basements. Now that's only one step away from from being molish. <laughs>
We're already going on the ground because we're running out of space. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Come on. Keep it on the I want to hear his point. Is yeah. that like being Amish? <laughs> so uh, what are you saying? Polish people, they don't acknowledge the, the crust of the earth. So you're saying within five years there's going to be sort of mole-like people living in basement flats well, with well, no eyes. But hold on, though. In your, in your, in, according to you, the lower they go, the colder and darker they go, the hairier and better eyes they'll have. Uh, well, it depends. No, I was only saying they'd have better eyes if they're on a dark planet where they're outside, so they still have to look out for things that they could trip over. If we're going, if we're going, <laughs> if we're going underground, they're, around, they're so concerned. <laughs> That's the whole evolution. Is about, oh, we don't want to trip over. <laughs> I don't want to graze my knees. You've got knees. They got them on Earth. Coincidence, isn't it? Hub, hub.